guys, welcome to Epic Adaptations where I'm gonna be wrapping up all your YA book to adaptation news. First up, I must address the elephant in the room. No, I am not Sasha Allsberg. If you thought I was Sasha Allsberg, you might want to go to the eye doctor and get your eyeballs checked out. I'm Jesse from the channel Jesse the Reader, and I'm your new host for Epic Adaptations. Sasha is crazy busy with her author schedule, so I'm gonna be taking over. Enough about that though, let's get to what we're all really here for: the book to adaptation news. A lot has happened since the last Epic Adaptations episode. So let me bring you up to date. Shadowhunter season 2 started airing on Freeform on January 2nd. The show hasn't necessarily been the most accurate adaptation of the Mortal Instruments series, which has kind of left the fandom divided. There are people who die hard love it, and there are people who are just kind of okay with it, who don't really love it. But regardless, we got really exciting casting news recently, and that is the fact that Will Tudor will be playing Sebastian in the series. It's already been noted that Sebastian will kind of have a different take on the show. I'm not quite sure what that means, but I'm still really interested to see what Will's portrayal of Sebastian will be like. The book to Netflix adaptation I Boy based off the book I Boy by Kevin Brooks dropped on Netflix on January 27th. It's about a boy who wakes up after an accident with fragments of his smartphone embedded into his head, giving him superpower abilities. What a premise! The movie stars actress Macy Williams who is also known for being in a super heck of popular book to TV adaptation Game of Thrones. Book to show, book to movie, crossover, whoa bam! A trailer for the Netflix series 13 Reasons Why based off the book 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher was released recently. This story follows a boy named Clay who comes home from school one day to find a package full of cassette tapes. On these cassette tapes is the voice of a girl named Hannah Baker who has committed suicide, and on these tapes are the 13 Reasons Why. The series is being produced by Selena Gomez, and fans can't help but be a little bit concerned just because the trailer showed some evident changes. But you also can't help but leave the trailer feeling super intrigued about the series. The series drops on March 31st, so mark your calendars, grab some tissues because it's going to be a wild emotional ride. A trailer dropped for Everything Everything recently, which is the movie based off the book Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. And before you go watch the trailer, let me just give you a warning. The trailer spoils everything that goes down in the story. So you're going to want to read the book before you go and watch the trailer. With that being said, though, it looks like it's going to be a super accurate adaptation, and it looks like it's just going to translate really well on the big screen. The story follows a girl who is allergic to the outside world, but then one day, a boy moves in next door and he shakes things up. The movie is set to release on May 19th, so be sure to make your way out to the theater on May 19th and see this film. On February 10th, Shatter Me author Tahara Mafi tweeted out a picture of what appears to be the script for the pilot episode of the Shatter Me series. A script has been written, y'all, and I am shook. This just means that we're that much closer to getting this adaptation, and I am so excited for it. Speaking of scripts, the scriptwriter for the Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe movie adaptation tweeted this shot on February 14th, and I'm pretty sure fans of the book lost their chill. The script for the film has been written and we're one step closer to getting this adaptation. The Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens agenda film started shooting on March 6th, and author Becky Albertelli tweeted this sweet little note of encouragement on the first day of shooting. And then the next day, Becky also tweeted pictures from the set. She's got a picture with the producer, and she's got a picture of some of the chairs on set. It's really so exciting to see this movie project move forward. Lastly, we've got casting news for the book-to-movie adaptation, The Darkest Minds. I feel like every day, author Alexander Bracken is revealing new information about this film, and it's just got me so pumped. Amanda Les Steinberg will be playing our leading lady, Ruby. Harris Dickinson will be playing Liam. Maya Check will be playing Suzume. Skylin Brooks will be playing Chubbs. Mandy Moore will be playing Kate, which I've got to admit I'm super excited for. And Patrick Gibson will be playing Clancy. It's amazing to see the cast come together for this project, and I can't wait to see how all these actors and actresses bring these characters to life on the big screen. That's all the adaptation news I have for you guys this month. If there's news that I missed that you want to be mentioned on an episode of Epic Adaptations, be sure to tweet me at Jesse the Reader, and I will be sure to mention it in the next episode. You guys should let me know down below in the comments, out of all the adaptations that I've mentioned in today's episode, which one are you most looking forward to? I'll be in the comment section replying to comments and fanboying along with you, so be sure to leave a comment. If you like this video, be sure to go and smash that like button, and be sure to subscribe to the Epic Reads channel for more bookish content. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next month for another Epic Adaptations. Mm -hmm.